Hey guys, Will here with Bintu Mobile. We are checking out Skyfire for iPhone. Okay, so Skyfire is not available in the App Store. You're not going to be able to find it, but we do have it. What you see here is a special build that Skyfire gave to us to preview, and we're going to check it out right now. So I was taking a look at YouTube, and, uh, well, why don't we do this? Why don't we just start at, say, oh, that's one of the things. When you click on the URL bar, um, unlike Safari, in Safari, if you click on the URL bar and just start typing, your new URL, it'll get rid of the old URL and replace it. With Skyfire, you actually have to click X to get out of there. So that's just a niggling little detail that we don't really think is an issue, but just be forewarned if you are used to that type of interaction, then you won't get that in Skyfire. But look at that. Look at how fast Skyfire loads. We are on Wi-Fi, but um, try loading this uh, into mobile on your Safari browser on your iPhone and it'll take much, much longer. That's because Skyfire uses a server-assisted technology to, um, they use a, their big powerful servers to crunch web page data and then pushes it to the phone, um, kind of like Opera, um, Opera Mobile, Opera Mini. Um, that's just one of the features, right? So it saves data by crunching all this data in the cloud and then pushing optimized uh, versions of the website to your phone and everything, you know. Pinch to zoom is good to go. Smart zooming, smart double tap zooming is good to go. All that stuff is enabled in Skyfire, as you can see. But that's not really its strength, right? Its strength is, well, videos. Like, say, if we go to YouTube. So if we go to YouTube, what you'll notice is, notice that down here, this icon is an hourglass, okay? And it changes. It's an hourglass or it's a little film strip. And if I press on that, the content owner is not making some videos available for mobile. That's fine. That's that's just YouTube telling us that, you know, some of these videos won't work. But, so what do you do? Well, let's say we click on this video, and it'll take you to the video page. And notice how fast all this is working, right? I'm going to just push back. It loads really fast. It loads faster than Safari. But uh, let me click this video, and what you'll see is when it loads, it loads the video page. And there's a little hourglass here saying, letting you know that it's uh, Skyfire is working to crunch the data. And bam, once the video is loaded, it brings it up here and allows you to play it. Notice what it says here. It says that you want to upgrade to Flash Player 10. So in the browser, it won't play the video in the browser, but the way it does it is it brings up this little pop-up. When the video is ready, you just start playing like that, and you can rotate, and it starts playing. It's optimizing video for your device and connection speed, blah, 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 loading video. Give it some time to load. I'm not actually sure what this video is. Looks like more random YouTube crap. But there you go. As you can see, videos play. The frame rate is good. Frame rate is what we'd get on the desktop. There's no audio sync problems. You know, none of the issues that are you, you might sometimes get with Flash playing on a mobile device. And that's because it's not playing on the mobile device. I mean, it's playing, but your mobile device isn't processing that data. It's all done in the cloud. Obviously, there's also tab browsing, right? I'm going to hit that new right there and go to the mobile Skyfire. And if you hit this up here, you can choose to load the desktop or the iPhone version of any website. So for Skyfire, it's the same, actually. So let's go to something like CNN.com. Right now we're loading the iPhone site, so it's going to m.cnn.com. Well, if we wanted to load the desktop site, we just hit that. Oh, it's going to load that too. Well, that's a shame. Um, let's try, for example, why don't we try Twitter. There we go. We're loading the desktop site right now. And if we go and switch to the iPhone, it'll load the mobile site for Twitter really quick. Everything loads really quick. And of course, Twitter is pretty lightweight, so it's going to load quickly anyway. And what's cool is each browser tab you can set for private browsing. And that means you don't have to worry about people seeing your browsing history. Whatever websites you like to go to, hint, hint, you can actually go into private browsing per tab. So I want to retain my browsing history for, say, this tab and this tab, right? But for this tab, I want private browsing. I'll just set this one tab to private browsing, as you can see right there, while still keeping this tab in full regular browsing mode. So that's cool. And... Another cool thing is that you can actually, this is a related links button. So you can, you know, enter a search term, go to YouTube for related videos, Adobe Systems. That's all related content to the video that you're viewing right now. I don't know why it's on the help page here. But another cool thing 
I want to show you guys real quick is the sharing. So you can add the bookmark. That's cool, right? That's that's pretty standard. Right here, let's wait for the so the video. There's the video again. So you can pop the video up and down like that. You can share via what? Email, Facebook, or Twitter. If you do email, obvious, it's pretty much, you know, it brings up the email client. You have to connect to Facebook, an error occurred. Whoops, that's not what happened uh, just a second ago. But you can share via, that's a problem. Okay. Well, you can share via Facebook. You can share via Twitter. But what's even cooler is there's this quick view, Facebook quick view. And you just log in, like so, and you get your Facebook page. This is basically Facebook, your wall, your friends, your profile, all that stuff, your messages. So there you have it. That is a quick little look at Skyfire for iPhone.